Hello everyone, it's George and welcome back to Call of Dragons. As dedicated free to play player who played this game for more than 500 days, I'm excited to share some insider tips and tricks with you. Stick around and let's dive in. Zone 5 fights are continuing in our kingdom, in our KBK. Uh, even though the winner is already decided, which are like uh, My Alliance and OPA. But still, fighting is continued until the end of the KVK because nobody wants to farm. Everybody is enjoying fights in Call of Dragons. That's why I say if you are playing Call of Dragons, uh, being a farmer should be, in my opinion, really, really boring uh, activity because you have one of the best uh, combat gameplay in all Kingdom Builder games, right? As always here, you can see I'm using mages because our uh, opponent, which is BR, um, has like a lot of tier 5 players and I would love to have uh, more range against them, right? Of course, as an archer main, I would love to play with archers. I'm not saying that archers are bad, but uh, in general, like my second, uh, um, like longest troop type in the game is mages and I would like to spend those troop types and then go to um, archers, right? Of course, um, when before it was long range warfare, the number one choice uh, was to play with archer because as I have mentioned before, doesn't really matter about the additional buffs or nerfs. Having the longest range is fun if you like to play as a ranged DPS, right? Especially if you are tier 5 player. Here yet again, which is normal already for a long time, that um, for DPS your target is infantry, right? And especially if your enemy has a strong infantry players, then the high chances are high that your primary targets are going to be infantry players because whenever you are going you are removing them from the front line at that time we have a chance to deal damage to the back line and whoever's back line is alive longer actually wins fights right as you can see this is my main gameplay how i fight especially as a free to play player i generally fight with my alliance um, i know it's like a style of hiding behind the uh, more members but what you can do right until you are unlocking tier 5 and you are a tier 4 player i think this is the most perfect gameplay uh, because the tier 5 players can receive the damage and they can still be alive but if tier 5 player will hit tier 4 i think the tier 4 legion is dying really really fast that's why if you want to get a lot of value out of your tier 5 legions i think you just have to play with your alliance solo missions is like I, I if you are great great at solo missions that can work but uh, still i think in terms of merits the highest of amount of merits you can get from the fights are actually when you are playing with your alliance that's why i have said it before um Call of dragons main gameplay is about community is about team play it's not a solo uh, team uh, game it's not a solo gameplay game right like if you will be alone uh, with without good alliance i'm pretty sure you are missing out a um, lot of fun um from my point of view here i think uh, as you can see like i have not got targeted even once and uh, my legion is almost half hp right that's the indication that every single legion which i clicked was tier 5 player i understand even tier 4 infantry are giving a lot of counter attack damage but it's there is no match right tier 5 infantry especially goresh and skogul there we go right that's what it's called counter attack damage plus being tanky plus having some uh, great damage itself but yeah as i have said it before this is what's going on on my kvk all the time uh, infantries are there if the enemy is stronger alliance of course they are stronger because they have more infantry players so if you are a new player who are starting the game uh, and you want to be a valuable uh, piece for a good alliance, you can always go for infantry main, and trust me, if you will say to a good alliance, hey guys, I'm infantry main, I have like 3 or 4 infantry good uh, legions, even if you are not tier 5, I think they are going to accept you, right? Because this is how much of the value uh, tier 5 infantry, or in general, infantry troop type has in Call of Dragons. I'm really interested how it will be when new infantry heroes are coming out. Uh, Mogro, which is more of a damage dealer, I think might have a way less use, but I think 
Uh, the dwarf one, the little guy, I think he's going to have a lot of use because I see a lot of good stuff there, like the sk force skill which is reducing the range damage uh, received is amazing, I think. Um, like main damage the infantry players are receiving is ranged. Uh, so if you are reducing the damage received from the range units that much, I think you are going to have a lot of use. This guy rushed somewhere in the middle, but I think I have to kind of change my position, that's why I'm moving away. Of course, uh, simply because my main targets have been infantry players, I think my merit numbers won't gonna be much. Uh, that's why I'm trying my best to stay alive uh, longer, uh, in order for me to at least slowly get more and more merits. That's why my main gameplay is not like, okay, I have half health, half troops, I will go home. Nope, that's not my gameplay actually. Uh, my gameplay is that, uh, well, I'm hitting tier 5 troops, right? Of course my legion will be half health. If if, if every time I'm gonna see that my legion health, um, health is 15% uh, and I'm gonna send the troops home, I won't gonna fight, right? My main gameplay will be, okay, I will hit one infantry legion and, okay, let's go home. That's why I, I have seen the suggestions about the um, having... Whenever you have like full health on your legion, of course you are dealing highest amount of damage and whenever you have low amount of troops, you are getting a lot, uh, a lot of severely wounded troops. I understand, I know that, but I'm fighting against tier 5 players, I found this style to myself that I'm going to play until my legion will die, because I don't want to be running uh, in my base all the time and... Uh, like because like every time I'm hitting tier five, even archers, even infantry, even cavalry, at least like 15% or 20% HP is getting lost, right? As you can see, this whole fight, I have gotten targeted zero times. Like, honestly, you, I can just check my video again whenever I'm gonna finish it. I have been targeted zero times, and my legion is like this. Yep. There were a lot of infantry players, I understand, I, I even clicked a couple of archers, but archers are infantry is uh, way worse between them. Oh, yep, yeah, like, especially if they have Hosk, and tier 5 Hosk has a high counter-attack damage with Kinara. But my legion is low for a long time, right? If I wanted to send them uh, anytime it's 15%, well, I'm sorry guys, then I guess I had to... Um, run this whole video back home because my legion have been 15% uh, all the time these fights, right? Uh, right now I will try to send uh, my archers, of course, because my these two mages are almost going down and we can always per, like uh, check who got more merits and uh, honestly my best performer have been Waldir, right? Uh, so far, yeah, this was like first time actually I got targeted in these fights and it's pretty funny. Uh, nobody had damage deal to myself, I guess only like artifacts and yeah, there we go. Legion is almost gone, so like if, if, I, was go if I was letting my Legion go home at 15% then I would be all the time running and run running. Um, I guess this is a correct moment for my Legion to uh, go home. Uh, because like this is a really really low amount of troops I'm I'm almost doing nothing here I'm just waiting until my archers will be here and of course when will archers be here uh, gameplay will change because we're gonna have like it like here you, I can touch archers I can touch sometimes mages but if enemy mages are not making any mistakes archers should not be able to touch them during the fights uh, that's what I have uh, uh, discovered by fighting in this uh, KVK without long-range warfare. But yeah, long-range warfare was just a seasonal feature, guys. Um, that's why one of my um, wyverns got... Uh, hey, let's let's just attack. Okay. I guess he's not that strong because he kind of has low health. Yeah, let's let's just attack this guy. Yeah, I guess he was just tier four, running. Yeah, mages are done, and finally my archers are here. And let's check how can we perform. Unfortunately, my wyverns got caught during the way, but they uh, they managed to stay alive longer. Fifteen percent. I'm not going to send them home. Like at least they are here. 
I would be fighting with them, of course. Yeah, Walder is still alive, I guess like 10k legions maximum there, but still, let's try our best. Maybe we will be able to uh, like wait until the Phoenix Eye, we went with Phoenix Eye, we can deal some damage, right? Of course, with archers having lower HP, um, it actually matters a lot. Lower um, range, it matters a lot because like main targets, of course, change. Uh, they are mainly infantry and of course cavalry whenever they are running towards you right i had to change my position because this guy just teleported on my head uh, while i was fighting and yeah i guess we can actually have a little uh, fight in a melee range my nico is getting slowed and that's why i'm trying to change my uh, place right i guess uh, cavalry legion just hit my nico and that's why i will try to hide inside um, and whenever I have perfect position, we can speak about a lot more stuff. Yeah, like as you can see, because of having lower range, um, you are having mainly a cavalry and uh, like ranged units which made some mistakes. But even a good thing about the removal of long range warfare is that uh, during the prime time of archers, a lot of players started playing with them and a lot of new archer players are here playing the call of dragons which means before we had way less archers during the battlefield and archers had not even had a target as archers right now archers are targeting archers and that's another gameplay another target for archer players that's why it's not really a nerf it was just a seasonal feature which will be a lot in the future like for example right now we have uh, we have chance to add skills to different heroes which is another seasonal feature so if they will get removed nobody will say no not if they will get removed nobody will say all right uh, like heroes are getting nerfed no it's just a seasonal feature such as was a long range warfare in my opinion maybe in the future some way it will come back uh, i don't uh, think it will be gone forever but yeah it was um, archers um, uh, prime time during that period now it will be for some time uh, infantry and mages maybe in the future it will be cavalry and so on right it will be really really boring if one only one troop type would be the superior all the time in my opinion uh, that's why i think it's a correct move that every single season different type of uh, troop types are getting uh, good or may like generally most um, Good troop type, which was uh, longest good, was uh, mages, right? Because of the highest range. But I guess it's great that we have like mage troop type in general in Call of Dragons because they bring something special. Um, like flying troop type and mages are great uh, in Call of Dragons, especially having celestials, mages, and flying units. Like yeah, um, there is not a lot of uh, kind of build kingdom builder games which are having this kind of variety in, in, in case so. Uh, troop types in the game of course as you can see the difference is huge between the mage gameplay and archers simply because uh, whenever i'm playing with archers i'm getting targeted way more and it's really really re visible right actually the syndrome and Freigar is my weakest legion in all of the pvp legions because they are simply uh, 5 one, one, one not additional skills and uh, yeah, the uh, the artifact which they are having is Herp of Kamasi, which is a more defensive utility artifact. Uh, like this uh, hero pair for me is, is there to just buff uh, these two, which is way better for me. Uh, Nico and Kinara and Craig and Tia. Of course, we, we can have a good dimension and good thinking of uh, mages versus uh, um, archers in this fight also, which I have been doing every single fight in this season because... That's the main question I have asked as the archer main, how archers are performing, and I'm trying to showcase uh, with the videos how archers and mages are performing for a free-to-play player who have been fighting with them all the time. Of course, whenever you are getting targeted, that's not like the worst thing on archers because you are dealing quite a good uh, counter-attack damage, but that is especially good if you have tier 5 units, that's the main thing, right? In terms of uh, having strongest legion alive, my Nico and Kinara is doing fine, they have the highest health and that's why I think playing as an archer you can't be too defensive because then you're gonna have only infantry targets. If you are a like, little bit offensive uh, for choosing your targets you will get way more merit than just standing and 
if you don't have uh, range you are not doing anything it, you just hit what's in front of you if it's ranged unit way better if it's only infantry that's totally fine also right uh yeah right now my main target is infantry uh, and i like this game sometimes lag and i can see the icon of this infantry and finally shadow blades was used unfortunately still level one shadow blades so uh, which i have been trying my best to get more but yeah unfortunately no luck in terms of levels of artifacts but uh, after i got my orb and rattle spear well, well i'm not really speaking much of a bad a lag for me in terms of um, artifact right yeah my strongest legion is alive um, and i will try to get as high amount of merits as possible you can see how much damage this host uh, counter attack will deal to my legion i guess i will just try try to do that because uh, all of my legions are already going home and i will have a good indication who did better and how much merits are difference between mages and if i got like uh, yellow merits for from every single legion which i think i did not um i think syndrome and Fregar died really really fast uh, because of the talent i guess one talent which i am playing with syndrome is having way less not way but less um, range than even archers but i have more uh, normal attack yeah i will be uh, offensive here it's time for us to check how much merits we got from this fight and it will be interesting to compare them with the mages right in my hospital i already had 700k um troops wounded troops because of the last fights and yeah i guess 300k not actually quite a lot uh simply because i fought with a couple of legions generally against tier 5 units i'm playing one 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 by one legion that's how i can manage my hospital better but as you guys asked many times to play with a couple of legions that's why i'm showing you that Playing with couple of legion with by playing as a free-to-play player, not spending resources so far on healing, uh, you're gonna head lot of hospital. If you are playing my style, um, like you want to uh, use your legion until the end and and you are not sending it home, uh, use one legion and you will perform pretty well. Like one by one, you will check hospital, you will have good merits, and <coughs> you will be happy at the only day. Uh, in terms of merits, let's check it. Uh, yeah, guys, you can see, I guess, against tier 5 players, uh, Waldir and Welling, Bertrand and Tohar, this is the difference, uh, simply because we had a couple of seconds uh, in terms of fighting uh, when we had time to hit tier 5 players, ranged units, right, mages and archers. With the um, archers, in our case, well, um, Wyverns got hit and it's their uh, half health. I'm pretty sure Wyverns would have gotten 10k. And Syndrome and Fregar is my simple utility uh, hero pair, which is um, like this, right? If you have good skilled archers, they will still give you at least 10k. Uh, and that's the merit score uh, which we are having right now. Of course, I'm gonna continue fighting in these skirmishes, but for the video, I guess... Uh, uh, as always guys if you liked it press like subscribe share it always gives me more motivation whenever you guys are watching the videos uh, i wish everybody amazing day morning and night we are going to see each other really really soon uh, bye bye and good luck